Animation in Unity. We are inside Unity and we have an empty folder called Animations. In our Sprites folder we have two subfolders, one called Bob Idle that contains the Idle Animation Sprites and one called Bob Walk that contains the Walk Animation Sprites. Go to Bob Idle. Select the first sprite and drag it into the hierarchy. Change the name of the new object to Bob. Now we want to attach an animator component to our game object. So let's go to the animation folder. Right click and create an animator controller. Let's call it Bob Controller. Attach the controller to the Bob game object. To this controller we want to add two animations. Right click and select animation and call it Bob Idle. In the inspector check loop because we want to loop the animation. Duplicate this animation and call it Bob Walk. Now we want to attach these two animations to the animator. Select the Bob controller. Go to Animator window. Adjust the size. Right click and create State Empty. Observe that it is orange, which means that this will be the default animation state. Select the state and set its name to be idle. It is this name that the controller will use when it refers to this animation. Drag the Bob Idle animation to the motion slot. Let's do the same thing for the next animation. Right click and create State Empty. Select the state and set its name to Be Walk. And drag the Bob Walk animation to the motion slot. Now select the Bob Game object and then go to the animation window. And here you can see that we have our two animations. Choose Bob Idle first. Go to Sprites, Bob Idle and select all sprites. Now drag them to the animation window. Set frames per second to 30. Now choose the second one, Bob Walk. Go to Sprites, Bob Walk and select all sprites. Now drag them to the animation window. Set frames per second to 30. Now we have everything wired up. Now we want to control which animation runs from script. Go to Scripts. Take the Bob script and attach it to the Bob game object. Now look at the script. At the start we get a reference to the animator controller. Then in the update when the user presses the I key, we play the B idle animation. And when he presses the W key, we play the B walk animation. Let's test this out. So click on the play button. And as you can see, the animator starts the idle animation, which was the default state. Now click inside the game view to make it the focus of the keyboard inputs. If we now press the W key, the walk animation starts. And if we press the I key, the idle animation starts. W key once again for walk animation. And I again for the idle animation. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.